you have to be covered all the time? Like, why can't you, you, you want to be covered? This is saying, oh, I've got hips, so I'm covering them up. You don't need to cover yourself up. Why are you crying, Robin? That face does not say 26 to me. <gasps> She's 26? That's a little old. Yeah. No, it's not. Today, I'm reacting to a photo shoot from Cycle 1 of America's Next Top Model, where one of the models cries after Tyra calls her out for wanting to cover up during a bikini photo shoot. Let's take a look, shall we? Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. We had a photo shoot for Stuff Magazine. Stuff Magazine, that's my dream to be on the cover. That's my style. Stuff, the sex appeal stuff, stuff Magazine. Stuff. What, what kind of stuff? Can we, can we get the specifics for that? They're like, no, just stuff. Okay. If I made it to be on the cover of Stuff Magazine, my friends and family would be thrilled. Did you guys know you're doing Stuff Magazine today? Okay, let's, I don't know about this magazine. I've never heard of it. So let's see what, what this stuff is all about. The one thing that you guys might make the mistake of is thinking that it's a men's magazine, so you have to... It's not a men's magazine. No. And it's not about that. Again, it's not it's about right it. Here. No. Can you really it's get there that in your eyeball. this magazine? Like yeah. Just your eyes and just if the it's sexiness. like how much, what's the price point of the magazine? Because I feel like if it's well priced, it's it's affordable. We could make this happen. You know, do a little sale, two for one. Maybe buy, pair it with a box of cereal. I personally love cereal. I would buy this magazine. If if with a purchase of it came a box of cereal, preferably Lucky Charms. See, I'm gonna go first. And you guys can watch me. Yeah. Okay. You watch the sexiness come from my eyes. Good. Beautiful like that. That's excellent. Tyra comes onto the set and she energizes this, the environment. Makes it very easy for me. That's why these big girls get used over and over and over. It's worth its weight in gold. I mean, I saw her doing her thing out there. Yeah, that's gorgeous. That's a tough act to follow. I mean, it doesn't take much. She's a supermodel. She doesn't need to try... Do you even need to put any effort in at that point? No, you absolutely don't. I just, I find it just so funny hearing all this praise and everyone just admiring Tyra as she literally, she kind of just, she is just standing there. She looks, she looks fabulous, I must say. And just, you know, make different facial expressions. Try raising one eyebrow. Try, you know, this and this and all just types of things to see what works with your face and your body the best. Practicing the pose and practicing the pose and... It seems like Tyra is more involved in this earlier season. She's giving tips. She's actually modeling during the actual photo shoot to show the girls how she would do it, which I think is so, so helpful for newer models. Again, remember, these girls have only done one photo shoot previous to this. They probably have little to no experience. So seeing a supermodel like Tyra pose before they go up and do the photo shoot is probably incredibly helpful. The pictures that I've taken in the past were, were more on the sexy side. I did Playboy magazine. Um, I'm sure some of the girls would be shocked. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. And just warm it up a little bit in your eyes. Just warm it up a little but in your eyes. Okay, but how do we do that exactly? Could you maybe do a demonstration on how that would come to be? How we warm up our warm it up a little but in our eyes. How I have warm eyes. He wants warm eyes, everyone. For that last stuff we just did, that's nice. Loosen that hand up, it's too. A lot of girls are beautiful, but when you try to photograph them or the way they photograph can sometimes be entirely different. I love how he removes himself from that equation. Well, the way that they're photographed could be entirely different. Okay, so you mean the job that you're currently doing with the models. So you're talking about, we're talking about ourselves here. So basically you. That's good. Just bring me up. Nice. Adrian was fantastic. She sort of moved like a snake. Very slowly, she kind of slithered around. I'm not offended at all that someone is trying to alter the size of my breast because I just spent an entire hour in hair and makeup altering the shape of my hair and the color of my face. What? What's the point of that, though? Why are they doing that? Okay, that's very odd that they are putting things in her bra to make her chest look bigger. Okay, what are your thoughts on this? Elise, very different from the other from the other two girls I shot. She was much more um, androgynous. I felt incredibly unsexy. It was it was uncomfortable and it was silly, really. You even the model herself says that she felt uncomfortable. 
She did not feel sexy. I mean, that says it all. You heard it straight from her. Do you have to be covered all the time? Like, why can't you, if you want to be covered? This is saying, oh, I've got hips, so I'm covering them up. You don't need to cover yourself up. Why are you crying, Robin? Talk to me, why are you crying? My Victoria's Secret photo shoots, I'm the biggest girl on the shoot. And I'm not covering myself up. Okay, it doesn't matter what you're doing, Tyra, because you're not Robin. If Robin's comfortable covering herself up, she should be able to do that. So she kind of like pushes Robin. Why are you covering yourself up? Why are you covering? Your journey in modeling is not going to be Robin's journey in modeling. They're making it seem like it's not like her choice is not okay. We don't agree with your choice. Therefore, you have to do what we want you to do. Tyra saying you don't need to cover yourself up. Okay, well, that's your opinion. Why are you? Why does Tyra care so much? Cover it up, not cover it up. Who cares? Let the girl take the picture. <laughs> Watch the photographer take like here, like portrait only. It doesn't even matter in the end. Actually, I would be surprised to see how the photographer shoots these. I imagine maybe he wasn't doing full, like maybe more a full body, but maybe now he will be so that he can get the the covering, the Robin's cover in the photo so that they can compl complain about it during judging. <laughs> He's like, I guess I'm going to do full body now. You're fly. You're here because of you, not because of some robe covering you up. She can walk around with that, but if she know, but on set, she can just take that off. Yeah, you get to do your off. thing. There's a difference between encouraging someone and make and then making just making them do something that that you want them to do, but they don't want to do. So this is definitely the latter in the situation. She's just kind of like, well, you know, just have her take it off during the photo shoot, even though Robin clearly feels more comfortable with it on. As a photographer, I would never do that to a model. If, if I presented an outfit and the model was not comfortable or wanted to cover or wear something underneath, I would be like, of course, absolutely. The clothes are not so much a big deal to me. We can work around clothes. You can wear something else. Because if the model's not comfortable on a photo shoot, you're not going to get a good picture of her. Guarantee it. And it's going to show in the pictures that she's not comfortable. So why would you want to do that from the beginning? Don't you want the model to be comfortable and feel confident in what she's wearing so you can get the best photo of her? Second, some models don't want to do swimwear stuff. And don't want that. They're not going to be able to use that in their book. They want to do more fashion, more editorial. They need more headshots. So a bikini shot is not going to benefit them in their book. So that I hope, hopefully I explained that well. This music. Nicole, gorgeous to look at. You know, from head to toe, she's physically flawless. Sir, aren't you just supposed to be taking pictures? It feels like he's just commenting. He's like, she's beautiful. 10 out of 10. Sir, just take the pic. Just press the shutter button. Let's, let's move on. To the <laughs> Tell me why every photo shoot so far is a bikini. You, get, you don't have a stylist on the show? It's the second, okay, it's the second episode. I'm being dramatic, but still. Two bikini photo shoots in a row. Let's, can we do something else? Put maybe like a pair of pants or something? Maybe, God forbid, a tank top. <laughs> watch, the, watch the next episode. We're doing lingerie or something. <laughs> We're doing swimwear again. There's something very modern about her, you know? I, I just I really liked her energy. I love the blonde girl. I think she was great. Okay. I love the blonde girl. You couldn't buy, like, not even a first name? No? Giselle, she is so beautifully present the whole time. What is, why is she, why are they bringing another model into, why is she, why is she, what is going on? <laughs> is this almost over? The whole time. This inner sexuality that comes through in Giselle. Again, like that, gorgeous. I felt a little uncomfortable, you know, I really wasn't sure if I was doing it right. And this is the second model who said that she feels uncomfortable. So I think that says a lot. I don't like this concept. I don't like the photographer's comments. They have them in these outfits with the, it's in, you have the, in like this dark basement with this weird, what is it, PVC piping, pipes. She was um, very, very um, aware of almost everything about herself. Being that self-conscious, it was hard to um, to grab a moment of spontaneity. What are you a th What are you her therapist? 
you know, being unsure, she really is, you know, she's insecure. Uh, 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 who are you, sir? You're using a ring light. <laughs> Actually, he's using like f more like three lights, three or four lights. You, How about this? You're using too much lighting at this point. Thank God it's over. <laughs> I Honestly, that has that had to be probably like the top the top two or three creepy questionable photo shoots from America's Next Top Model most definitely why are there 13 lights behind the model and then he's using a he's shooting through like a little beauty ring light and then he has a I saw a softbox just turn on the lights sir just shoot outside just shoot outside use the sunlight so let's go to the judging and see these final photos shall we all right Robin let's look at your best Polaroid from the shoot See, it's, I, I told you guys, it doesn't even matter that she was covered up because it's here of, oh my God, this is, they made her do that for no reason to take off her, she had a cover up for the photographer only to shoot a portrait. Why did he need a hundred lights for this? I don't know. He could have used one softbox. Okay. And maybe if you want to do a rim light, whatever. But to me, um. This kind of looks like the last photo shoot they did. Nothing really creative about it. I don't like how he photographed her. They had this elaborate setup with the shower curtain, with the water. They barely even show it. And they had them in these outfits that it was so important for her to take the cover cover up off. She had to show her her whole body only for them to just crop it in at the end doesn't make any doesn't make any sense beautiful that face does not say 26 to me oh, she's 26 that's a little old yeah. no it's not 26 is not old this is i can't believe there's so much emphasis on her age they're they're definitely giving her the grandma storyline they're like you're gonna be the the elderly person of our show where's the where's the oxygen tank Where's the orthopedic shoes? God forbid she, who knows, when's your birthday? Are you gonna turn 27 soon? Oh my God. Half of the judges are over 26 years old. You're like, that's a little old. Like, aren't you guys over that age? I kind of hate this concept, to be honest with you. I, and it's not even just that as a photographer, I don't shoot this type of thing. Cause I can appreciate good swimmer photography. I just don't like how this was done. And the, why do you have wind going in her hair? Like, what, what, what's the purpose? Why? And then you have water in the back, and then you have the light showing. I don't understand this at all. It's, it's just not a good photo shoot. The photographer didn't do a good job. I think the arm across your stomach is pushing your breasts together to make them even more breasty. I would have been a little more relaxed with the pose. Okay. They, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm sure this model will apply that advice to all the other bikini photo shoots this season. It's probably be like, probably the next photo shoot is going to be, they're going to be like, guess what? Swimwear. We're going to put you guys in a bra. Yeah. Bikini bottoms. No, not SpongeBob. Not the, not the place. Bikini. The bikini bottom. That's it. Surprise. They're not looking at you. This is your test shot from the shoot. It's a great picture. I think it's Okay, so this one full body. So what? So this one's full body, but the other ones were more portrait. What? What's the why? Again, nothing creative about this photo shoot. Nothing fun. The models can work with. It's a great picture. I think it's very sexy. I think I'm a little biased because those are my shoes that were made for that. <laughs> I'm a Nola Blahnik, honey. Okay, thank you so much. I'm going to make sure to remember that for the next photo shoot. I think. Are you serious? This is the final picture. What? Why did he crop it like this? Why? What is this? And then why is the set? Why is her face like orange? But then this, the right side of her body is really bright and desaturated. What, who is editing this? Who is, what do you got? Why, why are you doing this? Why? This is what happens when the photographer is too distracted by the model's beauty and is not focused on getting a good photograph. If you're waiting for me to roast the models on their posing, I'm not going to do that because I think that they were, I don't even like the fact that they were put in this photo shoot situation. 
again, I blame the photographer, creative director, the guy who set up these lights, the person who bought this shower curtain, the person who's splashing water periodically onto the shower curtain. I blame all those people. I think the models just do a great job. They always give 100%. So it's not on them. I think the photograph is absolutely beautiful. I really love it. I'm going to give you a 10 on this one. Thank you. I guess. Okay, so Janice seems to like it. She said a 10. But she didn't really say out of what. She just kind of left it open-ended. So I maybe if we're filling in the blanks here, I'm going to say 10 out of like 850. Just throwing out a number. Just just any random number. Because I can, honestly, I can't see someone looking at that picture and being like, yes, this is going in the book. This is going to be on the comp card. Take this to all your castings. You're, re- you're gonna book you're gonna book all the big jobs with this one nice skating yeah but your face lo- why do they zoom in so fast i had to like i had to like press that at the speed of light i'm like you know pause so okay this one now we're seeing the bikini top and the bikini bottom i think she looks gorgeous in this photo i actually really like her pose the lighting in her face versus the lighting on her body i wish it would have matched a bit more her face like this area seems a bit flat and then you can see the shine on her body. So maybe that could have been matched a little bit more. But I, I don't mind this photo so much. I think she had one of the better pictures. But your face looks great. I love how the light is hitting your cheekbone. That's it. She, she gives one comment. She's like, okay, the light that one of the 17,000 lights that were there, they hit one of your cheekbones. We love that. Okay. I'll, I will take, I'll take that. That's better than nothing, right? I love this photo of her. She's so cute. Love her smile. I love this color on her, the pink. I don't know why he left so much space on the right here. Why there's so much space. He could have you literally could have just cropped it in closer. And I think it would have been a, a lot nicer shot. But she, I think she looks spectacular in this. Love this photo of her. The weird cropping leads me to believe distracted photographer. Wasn't paying attention fully. Just kind of snapping away. Looking, He's kind of like maybe giving a look at what's going on around you got some beautiful ladies maybe he's not he's like doing one of these like hey, what you salt and vinegar chips love love the sandwiches yes save one girl i'm coming after this almost done that's kind of that's what i'm envisioning the photographer said that you took direction really well in the in the shot why did he choose this photo yeah you, you guys i just I'm, I don't shoot this kind of stuff, so mm, the lighting looks fine. I just like, I don't like the fact that they chose this picture knowing that this is one of the models who said that she was uncomfortable during this photo shoot and she felt unsexy. So I don't know. In, the, in this shot, you look really sexy. I don't really like it. I, I don't like my facial expression. I had to make my sexuality mainstream. You're an edgy girl. There's no need to try to tame it down. I still think that you are very thin and very pale. Okay. What? Okay. V- what do you want her to go tanning? <laughs> That's her skin tone. What's? I don't even know what to say. What's the intention behind saying those things to the models? Like, you do you want her to go tanning? Do you want her to hit up the tanning salon after this? That's what I'm asking. Come here. You do? Yella, come say hi. Don't be shy. You want to watch the judging with me? It's getting good, sis. They're doing the roast. They, they, but, I mean, they started since the beginning of the episode. But, <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. I don't like this picture, Katie. I think it cheapens you. I think it just makes you look like July. Miss July in a calendar. And your picture the other day looked a lot more fashiony. Okay, so you're saying the photo that of her that was taken by the photographer cheapens her. It looks cheap. So then it's the photographer. His photography looks cheap in the way that he shot it. Okay, just so we're all on the same page here. And then, but the thing is that they blame the models. <laughs> Does it make, she just, she was just, a, she was a willing participant in all of this. She had nothing to do with this, the lighting. It's not like the models set up the lights. I think that, you know, maybe move the soft box three inches to the left. Like, like, what do you think the models are there to do? They're there to model in the environment you put them in, in the photo shoot concept you came up with. And then you're surprised. Oh, this is a cheap photo shoot. Well, maybe take away one of the 700 lights that the photographer showed up with and the ring light. 
in the in the water falling from the background from the plastic curtain in the back of this basement what well, i don't understand why are you mad whenever i hear oh this looks cheap and you look don't look good in this and blah blah blah, blah. all i'm hearing in my head as a photographer bad photography it's interesting to look at these pictures that the girls take and whether or not it will end up in their book. You know, when we're talking about portfolios, it's really important to have select images that agencies can look at, that models can look at, and that can determine whether or not they want to work with you. You know, my website, my portfolio is actually hosted with today's sponsor, Squarespace. I absolutely love Squarespace. They are an amazing platform if you want to build a business or brand online. I've been using them since the beginning and I use their platform to, again, I created my portfolio on there. I have all of my work that I show to agents, again, to models. I have my about me page. I have a contact me page on there. I have like any sort of page I want to have to show anyone to have specific projects or maybe I want to have a certain gallery of like, again, a special project that I'm doing. I can make it with Squarespace. Super easy to use. They have so many cool functions. You can have videos. You can have different types of coding on there. Everything is built in. You never have to install plugins and update things. It's just all there. It's super easy to use. And that's why I love it. And that's why I rec recommend it to friends, to you guys. And you don't even have to be a photographer to use it. You could be any sort of creative person or you can just want to start a business or a brand. Squarespace is 100% my recommendation. And you can actually start a free trial by going to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica. Use my offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All the information would be in the description. You know, when a girl is walking, you're supposed to feel sexy and mm. womanly and, you know, no. bam, bam, bam. Your walk didn't flow, as far as I'm concerned. You need to just consider the whole strut an event. And if you can't take my, my critique on the flow, you might as well take another job because I'm going to be honest with you. Let's take a look at one of your photos from the shoot. That is, so, that is so terrible. Poor girl is crying before like, okay, so they had this challenge where the girls had to do a runway walk in front of the judges and the judges obviously roasted them and made fun of them the whole time. I was like, whatever, I'll skip that. We don't have to include that in the video, but I wanted to include this because she, the model's literally crying from the critique that she's getting from these judges. Like what did Kimora say? You have to be womanly when you're walking. Do you see how I walk? I w I'm walking like Shrek outside. I'm just trying to make it to the next wherever I'm going. I'm gonna shoot. I think it's an amazing photo. I think you have a great body. I actually think you look a lot like Tyra in that photo. Yeah. All righty. Well. Thanks, Kissy. So what do we think about Kissy? How do that whole judging was a mess. Pipsy, what do you think about this situation? The photography in this one was really terrible. One of the one of the worst photo shoots I've seen, I swear. Let's see who gets eliminated, shall we? They made this girl cry in judging, and then they put her in the bottom too. They're like, we might as well just come full circle, right? Whoever's name I call will go on and will still be in the running to becoming America's next top model. The other person will be eliminated and must immediately pack your belongings and must go home. Kissy, congratulations. You're still in the running to becoming America's next top model. See, I prefer this, like, she says a name, you made it, and that, not like the whole speech. So Robin still couldn't wear the cover up. Because you're, I mean, you shot it basically like 100 millimeter. It was pretty close, sir.